What's up guys, Max Powers here again with MiniPCForums.com. Going to tackle some of the issues people are still facing with their MK808. Going to jump right into them. First one is Wi-Fi issues. People are still seeing slow download speeds, slow upload speeds, and a poor signal. So uh, there's two quick fixes that if you haven't done yet, um, you, you, you really should. <clears throat> one of them is plug in uh, USB peripherals directly into the MK808 device itself. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is get a USB hub powered or non-powered, they both work just fine. That way you can get these uh, these uh, dongles and uh, whatever peripherals you're running away from it. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that one out. That is for my uh, K400 keyboard and touchpad. So once you take that out, and plug it into the USB hub, then it uh, your Wi-Fi signal will be stronger and faster. I am showing four bars uh, here now. Before it was jumping around two and three, but now it's steady. Uh, it's a steady four bars. And uh, another quick thing you can do is go to your wireless router and change the channel. Change the channel that it's running on. Um, a lot of the stock channels they use um, interfere with a lot of other wireless signals that are around our houses today. So go into your uh, wireless router, uh, log into it, and change your Wi-Fi channel. If you have any trouble doing that, any questions doing that, just log on to minipcforums.com. Let us know what router model you have, and we can, uh, we can point you in the right direction. That's a very easy thing to do. So moving on, uh, remember Joker asks uh, the screen's, screen zoom issue on, on boot up. Um, when I have my MK808 connected to my uh, TV, um, which is a 46-inch Samsung LCD, it, it recognizes it perfectly. I never have to do any adjustments at all. But when I hook it up to my computer monitor, which is also Samsung, it's a SyncMaster 24-inch LCD, it, it is zoomed in a little bit, and I have to go to settings and zoom it out. I haven't, have not found a fix for that yet. But I don't think it's it's very big of an issue. It only takes 10 seconds. Also, he's asking about the on-screen keyboard. Um, you can't disable that in the settings. That's also not a big deal. Uh, moving on, uh, Mr. Ab asks, what do you use to control your device as it only comes with one USB port? Well, as we know, it does actually come with three USB ports. Two micro USBs and one full size USB. One of those micro USBs we are going to use for power. And the other one we're going to use to plug into a USB hub. And the other one we should leave open. Um, I pretty much only use that one for diagnostic parts. But uh, uh, Mr. Abbott does support a USB hub powered or non powered. So get yourself one of those. And. Um, what I'm using here is the uh, is the Logitech K400 um, touchpad and keyboard. It's 2.4 gigahertz wireless, um, little tiny little dongle plugs into, and uh, it works great. I originally brought uh, bought an Air Mouse here, and uh, it, it works okay. The keyboard's pretty small. Sometimes your 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 buttons will repeat themselves, so I did get this uh, the Logitech. Uh, K400. It's about um, 25 to between 25 and 40 dollars. And the Air Mouse, um, you can get them anyway from about, about the same price. So uh, both are available in the uh, in the store on minipcforums.com. Uh, another issue people are having. A good beer asks uh, about SD cards. Um, what 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 do you want to format them on? Uh, what do they support? Well, the MK808 will support up to a 32 gig SD card. I do run a SanDisk 32 gig class 10 SD card. And uh, I run it in the uh, NTFS format. Uh, there are three different formats you, um, you, are, you can format them to. But um, for the Android devices, we're going to go with NTFS. It's going to be the best. It's the most supported. It's a... Uh, the least susceptible to being corrupted, and uh, and and it's a fast, fast option. The uh, for some reason, if, if that does not work for you, you can you can format it into FAT32. Uh, the problem with that is um, 
it won't be able you won't be able to transfer files over four gigabyte does not support that no matter how big your SD card is four gigabyte is going to be your max when it comes to transferring files so if you want to put on a you know an, an HD movie that's over four gigs you're not going to be able to do that so just format it in NTFS and um, it's pretty easy to do that just put your your um, SD card in the uh, in your computer in Windows and right click on it and um, it'll give you an option to format. So that's about it. That's for uh, this video. If you have any more questions, just go to minipcforums.com and uh, ask them there and we'll, we'll get to you. Have a good day.